What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where in the world you're watching from. For today's subject, we're going to be talking about the creepiest places on earth. These are places that you would most definitely not want to find yourself in alone, especially at night. Though in the first place I'm going to be looking at, whether or not it's night or day, you won't really know because you're going to be underground. The place I'm of course talking about are the Paris Catacombs. The catacombs are an intricate series of tunnels that were started in the late 1700s and the early 1800s. The Paris catacombs were created for one specific reason, and that was to house the dead. The catacombs currently hold more than 6 million remains from people that are previously deceased, dating all the way back for a couple hundred years. Now, if this simple fact is reason enough for you to not be a little bit scared of this place, especially if you were visiting it or by yourself lost in there, there are a lot of other reasons why it can be a very scary place. There are a variety of legends that surround the catacombs, one of them being that the catacombs are even a gate to hell. Now you can actually tour the catacombs. There's about a mile set out for tour guides to take you, which is not very much when you consider that the entire catacombs itself are hundreds of miles long. This very small limited area is not the area that you need to be worried about. If you were in Paris, I highly recommend you go check out that area, that mile long stretch, the things that you see, very informational, very educational, and it can be fun. But if you get lost in the catacombs or if you push too far past your limits or where anybody else has ventured in a very, very, very long time, that's where you start hitting trouble. While people being lost in the catacombs is extremely rare, it doesn't even happen to more than one person per year, it has happened to a few people and this is terrifying. Getting lost in the Paris catacombs is essentially a death sentence. There's 186 miles, there are countless amounts of turns and passages that have not been mapped out, and the last time people were down there probably have been hundreds of years. Not to mention you have a limited amount of time to make it out, assuming you do get lost. Depending on what your light source is, it might be a headlamp, it might be your phone, that will eventually die. And then of course, you're even more screwed because it's completely dark in the Paris catacombs. Obviously you're underground, you're in a tunnel, you're not going to be able to see it all. At this point, you have to wait to starve to death or run out of water, and then you're just gonna be another one in six million plus people and remains that are buried in the Paris catacombs. Another interesting thing about the catacombs, which we're not really going to dive too deep into in this video, are the parties. A lot of illegal parties are held by cataphiles, which are people that love the catacombs. These parties are, of course, your standard parties with tons of drugs, alcohol, illicit substances, and occasionally people do die here, but this is not a very common occurrence. Now that we've got a little bit of a background of the Paris catacombs, I'm gonna walk you guys through a video that I find really interesting, one of a guy that got lost, or a supposed film of a guy that got lost in the Paris catacombs. So I'm just gonna roll that. This guy supposedly went down there to explore and film. He filmed a lot of different things, but started becoming more and more paranoid the deeper and deeper he went in there. Something spooked him and then he took off running and he dropped the camera and we are only left to assume that he got lost and died in the catacombs. Although this is unconfirmed and also, but anyways, I'm gonna roll the clip right now. His arrows point in a direction. Occasionally also, he stops to photograph roomfuls of bones, which means that he's very, very deep inside the catacombs. So basically he's filming what he's seeing very deep inside the catacombs other than the point of view shots or pictures of the human bones the catacombs for centuries so it is possible with these paintings uh, that we may be able to retrace the itinerary to some extent after about and all of a sudden we hear his breathing get louder and louder uh, as though something was scaring him. He was, he's, he's frightened, he's frightened. Occasionally he stops, perhaps, to try to decide which way to run among all the many different corridors. He's running faster and faster and faster, deeper and deeper into the catacombs. And all of a sudden... This video camera... Now, assuming that the clip you guys watched is real, that is an extremely unfortunate way to go. Like I said, you have to wait in the darkness until you either die of starvation or die of thirst. Probably you would die of thirst first, but still, imagine going out, not being able to see anything, not knowing where you're at next to a bunch of dead bodies. It does not sound like a very enjoyable way to go. 
RIP to that guy, if that is a true story. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment down below, letting me know what you guys want to see next in a future video. If you did enjoy this, and if you're not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications so you guys never miss a video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.